Here we are, here we are. At the Brimstone Beach Club. Brimstone Beach Club. So the story so far, we were... Um, we escaped from Monkey Island 2. So this is the third game in the series. So from Monkey Island 2, at the end of that, we were stuck in like... Uh, LeChuck's Carnival of the Damned. That's where that game ended. We start this game, like, floating at sea because we've somehow escaped it. Don't know how. Um, and then we come across LeChuck trying to uh, woo our love and his love, because we love Triangle, uh, Elaine, Governor Elaine Marley. Um, LeChuck's a zombie pirate, by the way, for those of you that aren't aware. He captures us. We escape. We give Elaine a ring. Turns out the ring is cursed. Uh, the curse turns a solid gold. We leave her on a beach as a solid gold lady, and she gets stolen. And that's about where we are now. So yeah, there you go, guys. You're up to speed. We're on what, what island was this? Plunder Island, I think. Yeah, this is Plunder Island. That's Elaine's fort. That's the the, the shipwreck of um, LeChuck's ship. That's the swamp where the voodoo lady is. Puerto Polo, the chicken port. And this over here is where we were just at. Cabana. We're at the cabana. Cabana boy! It's an ice bucket for a bottle of sparkling grog. Okay. Oh, wait, we had sparkling grog. No, there was sparkling formaldehyde in... Um... It's full of dirty dishes. <laughs> it's full of dirty dishes. Oh, it's just... Oh, towels? Did I just see towels? Oh, towels are over here. Okay. It's full of dirty towels. Can we pick them up? Those towels are for members only. <laughs> dirty towels for members only. Nice. Uh, shall we go and... Let's talk to this cabana boy. Yes, may I help you? My name is Guybrush Threepwood, and I'm a mighty pirate. Threepwood? You must be seersucker Skip Rackham's cousin. How are Muffy and the twin? What? Uh, who? Hey, it's a lovely afternoon for the beach today. Not too crowded yet. There's a crafts workshop on the south beach, and a swapper size class at two and four. Swapper size. Water's warm and the waves aren't too high. Just watch out for the occasional undead corpse washing up on shore. <laughs> Might want to keep the kids away from any rotting flesh. But otherwise, the siege early today shouldn't spoil your afternoon. Just between you and me, the undead are notoriously bad tippers. So it's just as well they didn't take over the island, eh? <laughs> Let me see your membership card and we'll fix you right up. Oh. That wasn't the only thing that we needed, was it? So we've got a membership card that I imagine we're probably going to need. We need an insult. Membership. Uh, we need an insult for uh, one of the Barbary Coast um, barbers, the, the pirate barbers. We also need... Uh, oh, a reservation, don't we? A reservation for the restaurant in town. So we, um, the, what we're currently looking for, guys, is a map. Uh, we we need to get a crew. I mean, we need to get a a, a ship together, um, so we can sail after a lane and save her. No, we need to sail to. Oh, what was the name of the island? It was Plunder, Melee, and another one. We need to go to the third island. The one that I can't remember the name of. And get a giant diamond ring from there to put on Elaine's finger. Because she's cursed and turned gold. And a bigger, better diamond will break the curse. But to get there, we need to get a ship. And to get a ship... Well, we need to get a ship, a map, and a crew to be able to sail. So that's what we're currently looking for membership card but I'm wearing my membership t-shirt no membership card I see well sir you're at the Brimstone Beach Country Club in Smorgie 
part of the Leisure Lovers Planned Community for Retired <laughs> Pirates. It's very exclusive. Right. I'm afraid if you don't have a membership card, you cannot use any of the club's amenities. I don't want an amenity. <laughs> I had to eat one of those while I was lost at sea, and it was terrible. <laughs> then let me also point out Anemone. that without that membership card, you are not permitted on the beach, you cannot use any of our towels, and you can't have anything from the grill. Good day. Right. We need a membership card. Insults. And... A reservation. Cool. Can we talk him around Hi. at all? Yes. Uh, Let me have some of that cooking oil. That oil is only for French frying. It stays right here. Hey, what a coincidence. I'm French. Toss that baby right over here. Huh? You don't sound French, and you don't look French. And you don't know how much you're getting on my nerves. <laughs> Come on, <that> boy. <laughs> Onion ring emergency. Give me all the oil you've got. Sorry. Why are we going to need oil? I'm in charge here. You'll get no handouts. Algaroth, you got to love these puns. They did them so well. And I'm he I'm hearing them again for the first time, which is great. I was thinking of joining a club for snotty rich folks. Where do I sign? Well, it's not that easy. First, You'll have to get on our waiting list. That could take several months. Then there's the credit check, references, family history, the oral presentation, and the written test. <laughs> Mostly dealing with Spanish treasure, pillaging and golfing in the greater Caribbean area. And then finally, our 14-step interviewing process. <laughs> and then I'll be in your club? No, I'm afraid after that I'd have to blackball. Uh, family friendly? What if I just washed up a bit? Then could I join your club? It's nothing personal, but club policy states that I have to exclude anyone whose odor or presence might disgust or offend the other member. <laughs> I'm sure you understand. <laughs> awesome. Okay, so we're not going to get towels or cooking oil here, but I will write them down. Towel. Cooking oil. As possible items that we could get from over here. Gotta be going. So we already have healing balloons, pirate literature, skeleton arm, bag of nickels, ember on a stick, a jawbreaker that's got hair and spit on it. Flyer. Uh, a pack of gum, jerky. A pin, some paste. Fly, say? Oh, the fly was uh, for me, wasn't it? From the voodoo lady. Feeling down because your chicks turned to gold? Come to the swamp, get your fortune told. Voodoo and things. Formerly just voodoo. Visit our new location on Plunder Island. Oh, girls, which one? Dominic Armato, uh, who is Skybrush, or this cabana boy? Hi. Yes? Gotta be going. Oh, but <laughs> can you get the? <laughs> can you get it from him saying yes? <laughs> All right, let's go back to Puerto Polo. That seemed like a big place that we haven't properly explored yet. So let's. Talk to everybody in, in here about everything we can. So the, he needs to be insulted. Once he is insulted, then we can have like a, a, a fight with him. And then we'll be able to get him to join our crew, I, bet you have a I ton think. Of cool pirate stories. No, I couldn't. Oh, come on, I'd really like to hear some of... The year was 1675. We were on a course towards the wreck of the rattling phlegm. <laughs> our days were filled with songs of the voyage and the untold riches we'd find at our destination. Two months into our journey, we realized something was horribly wrong. Harvey Jason, any uh, 
any other voice acting works that we might know of his? Has your ship been placed under some kind of pirate curse? Were you haunted by the spiteful ghost of a former captain? Is this going to be scary? Were you haunted by the spiteful ghost of a former captain? No, a restless spirit would have been a welcome relief compared to the evil we faced. We were all stricken with a melody, a diabolical song that I shall never forget. La 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 <laughs> la 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 Hey, that's kind of catchy. Aye, all too catchy for a crew of 50 men confined to a <laughs> ship hundreds of miles from port. No one could think of anything else, and many threw themselves into the sea rather than hear any more of the incessant humming. We returned with but eight of our crew left. The doomed voyage of the obsessivo compulsivo <laughs> will haunt me forever. Oh, he's the hunter from Jurassic Park 2! Yes! <laughs> the humming. <laughs> Did he do everything? Is he one of those actors that's that's like everywhere but never never right at the front of the action? Bullseye Troll, welcome in by the way, welcome in. Arr, you're a matey. Only an hour left until you can cook for us. Are you sure you don't want to join my crew? I told you, not unless you give me sufficient insult and beat me in a duo. Hey, that's a nice shirt. How long have you been colorblind? <laughs> oh, please. I don't want to insult you. Why can't we just get along? Are you truly happy with this line of work? I may return to the sea one day, but for now I'm happy helping pirates look their very best. At least until we find a fourth for our barbershop quartet. I could be the fourth for your barbershop quartet. I could. Uh, no, no, uh, that's okay. I was wrong. We don't need one after all. <laughs> oh, come on. I've really got away with a ballad. All right, then. Let's hear what you've got. There's a monkey in my pocket, a popular children's song. I've got a friend in the ocean, a popular pirate shanty. Plunder on my mind, a popular Caribbean island anthem. Wooden leg, rest, restless heart. A popular romantic ballad. Silver Long Johns, a popular commercial jingle. Uh, wooden Leg, Restless Heart. I'm hooked on you, baby. But the seas keep us apart. And there ain't no eye patch big enough to cover up my broken heart. <laughs> oh, my dear, sweet, merciful savior in heaven. Pretty good, huh? You must take an oath now before man and God, that you will never ever again sing in public. So, what are you telling me exactly? Ah, Bullseye Troll, yeah, even though we have the, um, the physical CD version, because, uh, obviously we're in a, uh, a new operating system, we do have to run it through ScumVM, unfortunately. I, I may say it, it's not unfortunate. It's, it's fine. It's fine. Take the oath. What oath? I missed it. What? Let me try out for your barbershop quartet again. No! Huh? Oh, please, please. The spirit of music is in me. <laughs> All right. But this is the last time. <gasps> I am never taking that oath, Jer. Da, 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 da. <laughs> There's a monkey in my pocket. There's a monkey in my pocket. For you. Oh, there's a monkey in my pocket and he's stealing all my change. His stare is blank and glassy. I suspect that he's deranged. <laughs> Great sainted jumping monkeys. <laughs> what do you think, huh? That was even more atonal than last time. Wait, wait. There's a monkey in my pocket, and I think he's got deranged. He's stealing all my no, and he's stealing all my change. Damn! Whatever. Oh, I want to learn that. Hey, let me 
try out another song for your barbershop quartet. Am I just not getting through to you, Threepwood? Come on, this time will be great. Trust me. If you insist. Uh, plunder on my mind. Plunder, plunder, how I wonder how ya get so doggone pretty. Home to sailors, barbers, tailors, and Puerto Pollo, your capital. Mother of all that we as humans <coughs> hold sacred. Well, you're actually beginning to make me physically ill. Please stop. We're going Listen through all of these. It. You'll love it this time. I really, really, really don't want to. No, believe me, I'm just getting warmed up. There's a monkey in my pocket and he's stealing on my chain. His stare is glass and blank. Oh, no, his stare is blank and glassy and I think he's got deranged. Oh, I think that he's deranged. Thank you, BXT. Thank you. A, po a popular commercial jingle. There we go. For those cold dark shipboard nights, we've got boxers, briefs, I've just noticed his face. Made from cotton, silk, or satin, in styles Anglo, Dutch, and Latin. <laughs> when you sail, don't take a chance, wearing nothing neath your pants. Trust, silver's long johns. They breathe. <laughs> I need more words. My grasp of the language is not sufficient to describe the violent, retching nausea your singing is causing me to experience. I'm not following you. Is that a good thing? <laughs> right, one one song I got left. One song left for you. It's a show stop. Okay. Whatever. I've got a friend in the ocean. Once my old man spoke to good King Triton and asked why all this senseless fighting? What's Why happening to his face? And express emotion. Now I've got a friend in the. That's odd. What? What? You liked it? No, no, no. It was dreadful. It's just that my queasiness has subsided. But now I'm beginning to taste metal and see spots before my eyes. I'm afraid that your singing is so bad that it has caused uh, me to have a stroke. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> 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 we we made him have a stroke. <laughs> uh, will he join our crew Are you now? Sure, you don't want to join my crew? I told you, not unless you give me sufficient insult and beat me in a duel. But you've had a stroke. Argroth, <laughs> oh, yeah, right. I mean, it's quite a it's quite a healthy haircut. I bet it's a wig. I bet it's a wig. <laughs> Whoa, look at the time. Got a scoot. Oh, hold on. Paperweight, hair styling book. It's a bunch of combs floating in that blue stuff. Uh, can we talk to Captain Rottingham? We haven't talked to this bloke yet. Ahoy there, I'm Guybrush Threepwood. I see, and I don't care. And I don't care. So you're a ship captain, huh? Not just any ship captain. Don't tell me you've never heard of Captain Ronnie Rottingham. I've never heard of Captain Rottingham. I'm only the most cunning and well-groomed captain ever to sail the Caribbean. Well, how'd you like to join my crew? I didn't think that's gonna work. Your crew? Please don't make me break into hysterical laughter while this buffoon is working on my hair. Why don't you want to join my crew? I serve under no man. Oh boy. Ooh. Now just one second. If there's any treasure to be found, I'm going to be the man to find it. And I'll look absolutely stunning while I'm doing it. <laughs> yeah, you will. Well, I didn't want you on my crew anyway. That's your loss. And boy, lose the ponytail. It's so last year. <laughs> I might be losing my ponytail soon. See what happens. Did you know you're starting to go grey? I most certainly am not. <laughs> uh, don't get me wrong. Grey hair suits you. It doesn't... I mean, of course it would. 
but uh, I don't have to worry about that for several years. If I were you, I'd worry more about those split ends. Split ends? I'll have you know I've killed men for comments less slanderous than that. <laughs> You've got a bald spot starting here in the back. What? You're lying, of course. If you say so. All I know is that there's definitely some kind of shine going on back here. Sabotage his hair. Oh yeah, we are gonna sabotage this guy's hair. You seem irritable. Is it from your dry scalp? My scalp is lovingly massaged with the finest creams and oils in the world. Twice daily. <laughs> yeah, that's a little more than I wanted to know. Oh. Your petty jobs and insults mean nothing to me. They're doing great things with dandruff shampoo these days. I suggest you leave, boy, before <laughs> you force me to defend my honor. Ah. Wait, are we going to, like, get him to insult us or something? Maybe? I'm a mighty pirate. Ha. What do you mean, ha? I meant just what I said. Ha. If you're a mighty pirate, then I'm bald. Well, you're not now, but you will be, mate. Oh, wait, wait, wait. If you're a mighty pirate, then I'm bold. If we make him bold, does that then make us a mighty pirate? I'm mighty enough to defeat LeChuck twice. LeChuck? Ha! Even if he's dead, there's just no excuse for that hair. <laughs> Fire! Run for your life! I'm sure the authorities probably have the situation under control. But just in case, Baba, more moisturizer. <laughs> rabbit dogs are on the loose. Get out, now! I don't hear anything. There are no rabbit dogs on the loose. That's just what they want you to think. There's an axe-wielding maniac at the door. Flee! Perhaps you should offer yourself as a sacrifice so the rest of us may be saved. <laughs> The calls are coming from within the barbershop. You must get out immediately. I have no idea what you're talking about. Scream reference. Was it, was it a scream reference? The calls are coming from within the house. Storms are coming. Better get a move on. Could be a twister. Then I'm most definitely staying inside. The humidity does horrible things to my hair. Horrible. Captain Rottingham? You're being paged. I have a feeling this message. isn't going to work. You know, sitting down for too long can be unhealthy. It's a serious risk to your cardiovascular system. I think a nice jog could be just what you need right about now. Up and at him. Go away. Oh, same again. Okay. You seem busy. I'll come back later. Okay, so. Paperweight hairstyling book. Let's look at the hairstyling book. Coiffures for the Discerning Pirate. Spring Edition. Handle? Wait. Oh, there's a handle! Can I use the handle? Ah, don't you be touching that, that handle, you hair lubber. <laughs> you hair lubber? <laughs> Seems to be scissors in the ceiling. Wow, I bet those could cut through anything. Ooh, I bet those could cut through anything. Okay. Wait, we've got portraits to look at. Rachel Squall. This lady, we're certain, was no debutante. She killed 20 men while she wore this buffant. <laughs> Edward Screech. When it came to rum, Edward Screech never skimped. He drank a whole bottle while he had his hair crimped. Thomas Lude. Here was a dangerous man when accosted, but he looked pretty good when his hair had been frosted. <laughs> good old frosted tips. Wait, this dude is bold. <gasps> Captain Steed Grummet. He fought and he struggled. He kicked and he brawled. But when he left our shop, we made sure he was bald. Can we, like, pick up that picture? I don't want that horrible painting. Nah. I want to swap it. I want to put that, like, in the hairstyling book. Jack Rackaham. Always a dapper crook. Jack wore the layered look. A parrot painting. Nice. In loving memory. Oh. Crackers. 1684 to 1685. 
Oh, crackers. I should leave that. That's the only art in here that's any good. Another satisfied customer. That's a skull. I would rather die than on that painting. Captain Charles Vane. The captain stood seven feet high in his boots. But you'd never have guessed that we dyed his roots. <laughs> I don't want it. That painting is unutterably hideous. Captain Richard Squawkins. There never was a more despicable knave, but we gave him an impeccable body wave. I guess it's we too high to reach and too ugly to want. All right, Barber Pirate, can we like walk through this bit? I see a <laughs> no Barber Pirate. Can we just pick up the paperweight? Don't touch that, you foul creature, or this it may ruin my haircut. Hmm, okay. It's a rock, and it's a paperweight. Can we, like, distract this dude by talking to him? Ahoy there, I'm Guybrush Threepwood, and I'm a mighty pi- Quiet. Red, huh? Don't distract him while he's working on me. Aye, laddie, you'll have to wait your turn. It's the pirate wee. Is it a timing thing for when he puts the comb down? Can we, like, swap the comb? With a, a burning ember? I don't want to cinch that with this ember. Uh, a sticky gumball? That doesn't need a jawbreaker. Oh wait, this guy was eating something, so maybe he'll like a bit of gum? Oh, paste, paste, paste! The label on the bottle says... Paste will not adhere to dental work, hair, or cannonballs. Darn. Huh. Huh. I can't paste that. Okay. Something to do with this handle, then. Uh, can we use the skeleton arm with the handle? I can't use the skeleton arm with that. Gum! <gasps> wait, 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 wait. Wait. Just a straight up gun? Can we like can we use the gun? Can we like chew pack a gun? Argroth. Mmm, tastes like sirloin. Sirloin! Chewed gum, yes. That comb looks like it's made from a jawbone. And this gum is the kind that won't stick to dental work. I don't care, I want it to stick to his hair. That comb looks like it's made from a jawbone. And this gum is the kind that won't stick to dental work. That comb is made from a jawbone. All right, all right. Let's talk to this guy over here. Ahoy there! I'm Guybrush Threepwood. He likes us. So, so oh. it's good to meet you, Mr. Bill. Bill. He did. That's your pirate name, Bill. <laughs> Cutthroat Bill. Oh, I see. Well, that puts a whole new spin on it, doesn't it? <laughs> It was not a bad idea, Argoroth. Are you ever going back to pirating? Maybe. Someday. If I find the right captain. Perfect. I'll be your captain. Onward to Blood Island and Blood Island. adventure. That was come? You, a captain. Hardly. We saved your life. I'm the mighty pirate who defeated LeChuck. And what do you have to show for it? I've got a ton of cool stories. Treasure. Immense mounds of gold and diamonds, solid gold scepters of power, anything? Welcome in, Jatsa. Well, I've got these nickels. Wooden? Uh, yeah. Some trick. <laughs> you are. You couldn't find gold in a jewelry shop. Uh, you big old bedwetting duty head. I bet I could too, you big old bedwetting duty head. How much would you bet? Well, I've got these nickels. Right. Come back when you have some real treasure to show me. Um, pirate stories. Gunny? Gunny? Okay, here's a story. I started out as a crewman on the Raging Tightwad, sailing out of Puerto Poya. The Raging Tightwad. The captain was a master treasure hunter. A diviner from some ancient secret society. 
He had some weird fifth sense when it came to finding objects of value. Um, don't you mean sixth sense? No. By some cruel trick of nature, he was born without taste buds. <laughs> but his other senses <laughs> took over and gave him an uncanny ability to find treasure. <laughs> we left port without a map, guided only by the captain's keen senses. Genius. We spent the first week going around in circles until we realized the crew's gold earrings were throwing the captain off. <laughs> After we tossed all our jewelry, gold coins, and belt buckles overboard, we got back on course. Uh. Did you ever find any treasure? We sailed for two years, and had finally started back to Plunder Island. But just as we started to doubt him, he paid off. We found sunken treasure right off the coast. Wait a second. Was it an enormous pile of jewelry and gold coins and belt buckles at the bottom of the bay? Exactly. <laughs> How did you know that? <laughs> I just had a feeling. Clever. <laughs> How'd you break into the hairstyling industry? I saw an ad to join a barbershop quartet. Got a problem with that? No, that must be very rewarding work. What's that supposed to mean? Mean? Well, just that, you know, cutting hair and um, singing must be just a lot of fun. It's like a party every day. Some days I just don't know how to contain my joy. I get giddy and the laughter bubbles out of me like a sparkling <laughs> fountain of mirth and gaiety. Okay, new topic. Um, Are you sure you don't want to join my crew? You still haven't proven you can find anything of value. Okay. Come back when you have some real treasure to show me. We need to find... Something... Of value for that guy. So if we insult this guy and then beat him in a duel, we can get him on our crew. This guy will need to find some treasure. Do you know any more pirate stories? Want the story about how I slit the throat of the annoying little pirate who kept asking me questions? Is something troubling you? You really enjoy being a barber? It's a steady income. Oh, it's got. S oh yeah, he he has a delicious voice, doesn't it? Ugh. Oh, I wish I had that much creak in my voice. Right. Okay. It's been a pleasure. Bye. Let's look at the handle. It's the handle the barber uses to raise and lower the chair. He seems irritable. It's an adjustable barber's chair. He looks like a true professional. He seems irritable. Oh, right. I just wanted to talk to you. It's a salty pirate. It's a salty pirate. Mmm, delicious. It's a dapper pirate. Salty one, dapper one. Welcome back, Jans. What's on the menu today, man? How's the little in as well? It has to be something to do with that comb, yeah. And it has to be when he puts it down, we can do something with it. This front door, we haven't actually gone over here yet. What else have we got? Oh, there's a sign. Hiccup. The front door is closed. Can we, can we it's open locked. it? It's locked. It's locked. I don't want to disturb anyone in there. All right. Is this a, a, an alleyway or is this going to take us out of town? Oh! It is an alleyway. <gasps> Worn travel chunk. Chunk? A chunk of travel! It looks too heavy for me to carry. Fake spears. I don't need a prop. Fake swords? I don't need a prop. Fake crown. He's probably going to say exactly the same thing as me. 
I don't need a prop. Fake crown. Blood Island sticker. It's stuck to the trunk. Okay. Pirate coat? Looks too big for me. Looks like a nice coat. With just a few flakes of unsightly dandruff. Oh, dandruff. Can we pick up the dandruff? <gasps> I hate people to think less of this guy just because of a slight problem with... Hey, this isn't dandruff. Oh. Oh, it's lice! Guess what we're gonna do? I wonder if there's a part in this play for a dashing rogue pirate. Right, mirror. Donkey head. It's a donkey mask. It's some goofy drama masks. <laughs> Tee hee. Wig. No, I like the natural look. It's very mod. Another fake sword. What else we got? Blood Island sticker. Worn travel trunk. Fake spears. Drama masks. Can we pick up the donkey head? Oh, that's the Midsummer Night's Dream, isn't it? I don't want to look like a jackass. Yeah, yeah, I know what you're thinking. <laughs> so knock it off. <laughs> Can we go out to the stage? To swab or not to swab? I like this guy. No, no, that's not right. Prop tree. Can we push the prop tree? Come on, slap it. You've got it's too big to carry. Black. Prop tree. Big trees of this genus were often used by early settlers for theatrical productions. <laughs> Remember, is the water ballet before or after my mad scene? And this is when young Fraz decided to be an actor. Indeed, there's probably a. Yeah. Next, I burn Thebes, subdue its army, trample its citizenry. It's an actor. Thespian. Yeah. And then I smash the watermelon. Thespian and but hideous men pirate. With morals be? That is just disturbing. Well, to be fair, man, he's wearing pretty much the same outfit that you did when you went to Mardi Gras. Oh, yeah. That whole lend me your ears bit. Huh? I guess they changed the end of Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> oh, walk the plank. I sure hope I can get someone to actually do it. Act 4, scene 8. Join me, Rosencrantz. I am your father. Oh, LucasArts with your cross-referencing. I'm not your buddy, guy. Buddy. I'm a dangerous pirate. Who are you? Cromwell. Slappy Cromwell. <laughs> it's not my real name, actually. My agent told me my given name just didn't have star quality. Slappy. And what was your given name? Rex Fortune. Adventure Seeker. I see. <gasps> oh, I want to be called Slappy. What's that putrid, stench-ridden drivel that you're rehearsing? But this, this is the master work of the Bard. Do you really think it's that bad? Wait, so what, this this is set in, in, in pirate times, so which is like the 1600s? Shakespeare was late 1500s, wasn't he? Don't call me Slappy Bag. <laughs> Slappy Bag. Welcome in, Archetype. Welcome in. Do pirates drink grog? Oh, I knew I shouldn't have altered the material. How could I have taken up my wretched pen and stabbed it bodkin-like through the unsullied poetry of the master? You, you don't mess with Shakespeare. Don't, me no, don't mess with Shakespeare. To. Not a single person was coming to any of my performances. Oh, these stupid brutish pirates! Not men enough to confront their own sensitive inner natures. So I rewrote the whole folio, contracted the brilliance of decades into a forty-five minute review. Ah, spear, spear. 
a theatrical midday. The irony is that that isn't that exactly what some guys uh, Shakespeare. Oh, what is it called? There's a company that do like speed Shakespeare, and they're really famous. Oh, I've got I've got a bit of uh, I've got a um, a tidbit to to sprinkle. So uh, you know, like Macbeth is synonymous with being bad luck with actors. Um, the reduced Shakespeare company. That's the one. BXD. I knew it. I knew. I've worked with some people that actually worked with them. Um, and I will probably stop saying more about that there. Uh, <laughs> but anyway, yeah, yeah. So uh, Macbeth was like synonymous with uh, having uh, being uh, bad luck for actors, but it was actually the other way around when it that that first created the um, the idea that Macbeth is 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 bad luck, because basically back in the day Macbeth was crazy popular. Um, and what would happen is failing acting troops, if they wanted to get people in, uh, would put on Macbeth because Macbeth was the only, like, everyone would go and see Macbeth because everybody loved it back in the day. So, yeah, if, if no one was coming to see your shows, you put on Macbeth and people would come and see it. So it, Macbeth as a play then got a, uh, an association with companies of failing actors uh, and it was from that that it kind of evolved into what we now know as you know don't say Macbeth in a theatre because it's bad luck there you go there you go G.I. Stimpy welcome in mum G.I. Stimpy is my mother everybody mum welcome to the stream stream welcome my mother what's going on here are you rehearsing are you faint? Or do you have the sound turned down? Um, I have a feeling that you have the sound turned down. But maybe not. The, everybody else would be able to tell you. Ebenezer, to be fair, Shakespeare was a dedicated businessman. He probably would have approved of his... Uh, as long as he filled the theatre. True dat. True dat. Um... Argaroth, you've seen uh, that company. I'm not going to say that out loud. Uh, but yeah, I've, I've worked with guys from that company as well. They're, part of the uh, the audition process is that you need to get absolutely trashed um, with them to make sure that you're not... Because obviously there's, there's different types of drunks. There's happy drunks, there's depressed drunks, there's angry drunks, there's loads of different types of drunks. And they need to test what type of drunk you are. So yeah, they they just you just go out and get wasted with them, and that's part of the rehearsal. No, that's part, part of the uh, the audition process. As an actor and someone who goes to the theatre for for a while, Macbeth isn't forbidden word really. More of a Scottish thing these days, or a lovey thing. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're not an angry drunk today. Why can't you go back to the original scripts? Oh, the sweet, sweet, bitter irony of it all. Now that you have confirmed that I have produced a work of unredeemable trash, I'm more or less guaranteed to have a financial success on my hands. Why do I find that strangely encouraging? <laughs> Can I watch you rehearse your horrible play? I'd rather you didn't. I get nervous when people watch. <laughs> of course. Can I join your show? Good heavens, no. I could hear your awful singing in the barbershop from way over here. Ah. Wait, what would have happened if we didn't do the singing first? <laughs> Please, can I watch you rehearse? I'd rather you didn't. And stop whining. Please, can I join your show? Good heavens, no. 
Come on, let me watch you rehearse. <laughs> Come on. I'd rather you didn't. You might see the surprise ending to Romeo and Juliet. Romeo and Juliet die. Actually, that ending didn't set well with the focus groups. <laughs> Acting is my life. Let me join your show. Good heavens, no. Okay, well, it doesn't look like we are going to get anywhere just by using these. Come on, let me watch your rooms. Um, I'd rather you didn't. Yeah. Then you'll these options. hear all the answers to my knock-knock jokes. <laughs> Carry on. And then I do some prop comedy. Okay, can we talk to the hideous pirate? pirates what real culture is. So how'd you get roped into doing this show? I'm a spokesmodel, actually. But what I really want to do is act. People just don't take you seriously when you're a spokesmodel. How surprising. What's Yeah, a... isn't it? What's a spokesmodel? Break a peg leg. Thanks. Sp you blocks, you stones, you very old meat, you worse than unlaundered things. So, balcony. Can we, like, push the balcony? Pick up balcony? Wherefore would I put it? Wherefore would I put it? Then what about the plank? I, I don't need a plank to walk. Hey! Stew! If you're going to be an actor, you have to suffer for your art. Oh, okay. We may have to... I don't need a plank to walk. It's cutting into my monologue. The quality of grog be unstrained. And then... A headstone? Yorick? We knew him well. Oh. It's Yorick's headstone from Hamlet. Mm-hmm. Slappy Cromwell. <laughs> then, in act... I can't use a paper mache headstone. So he's going to sleep. Is, is that what can we do now he's asleep? Now is the winter about discontentment, Cory. So I'm about this one if you want. So he's my boy! Then... A bunch of slappy boys. <laughs> or one singular slappy boy. Can we do something with a plank? Can we set set it alight? I don't want to singe that with this ember. Uh, it's winter about discontentment, Corey. Summer about the summer of York. Now it's the summer of our discontent made glorious summer by this son, son of Yorick. I think that's what he just muttered. Wait, up? We can go up. Oh, well, we're going to be able to drop like a stage weight on the plank. Please say that we can. It smells like something's burning. Mm, must be this shoddy 17th century electrical wiring. <laughs> Wait a second. Somebody's been monkeying around with these controls. <gasps> I'll need to read the instructions before they'll work. What instructions? Wait, no! What? Damn it. Okay. I don't quite get that. What are we doing? So we have button. Hmm. Now I'll need to read the instructions before they'll work. What buttons? Hmm. Now I'll need to read the instructions before they'll work. Where would I find said instructions? There's. There's lots of, uh. Banana skins around here. Oh, magic hat! Can we pick up the magic hat? And the magic wand. I don't want to disturb the mystic powers of the hat. Watch me make this disappear. Okay. It's a magic wand. They're, um, wiggling. You're a lizard, Harry. <laughs> <laughs> um, what are we doing? Fake spears, blood island stickers. 
Let's go back and put the lice on the comb, shall we? And then we'll have another explore. How are we going to find uh, information about how to operate those lights? Because all of the magic is in the uh, in the hat, not the wand. The wand is just for tapping. Tapper, tapper, tapper. Oh! Holy infestation! You've been struck with the hair demons. What are you talking about? The cursed head vermin. The oh, scourge it's... of every hygienic sailor itch. on the seven seas. That's a lie. Sure as I'm standing here, they're wriggling about your scalp like a pack of wretched sea lions. Good analogy. This calls for drastic action. I'm bringing in old Ironsides. No, no, let's not be too rash. Rash? That's a bad sign. There's no time to lose. I'm going to have to amputate. <laughs> no! Amputate! No, you'll ruin my hair! I don't think he's going to be particularly happy about that. <laughs> um, can we now talk to this bloke? Ahoy there, I'm Guybrush Threepwood, here to serve all your mighty pirate needs. Pleasure to meet you, Guybrush. I am Haggis McMutton of the Clan McMutton. <laughs> Does that count as being racist? Oh, God, you were lurking and missed that. What did you... I was going to say, I was lurking and missed what you did for him to deserve that. Uh, we just put the we put the lice on the comb. Ah, oh, the word lice is really making my head itch. Indeed it was, Zagroth. Indeed it was. How did you become a barber pirate? How would you like to join Haggis? That's an unusual name. Haggis. That's an unusual name. I suppose it is. But Haggis is just a nickname. The given name is heart, liver and kidneys boiled in the stomach of the animal McMutton. <laughs> oh, so your parents were expecting a girl. Yay. <laughs> what is that blue stuff in the jar anyway? Ah, the old comb juice. Is a fiery brew that's bested many a sailor with her fermented froth. It'll burn your throat unless you chase it with conditioner. Those sure are nice scissors. Aye, they're my best pair. They can cut through almost anything. Well, why are they in the ceiling? Sometimes I cut hair so fast, the scissors fly from my hands at unbelievable speeds. Could I uh, borrow those scissors for a minute? Sorry, no. They're much too valuable to me. You know they can cut through almost anything. Yes, I believe you mentioned that. So we're going to be cutting something with these scissors then. We need to get our hands on them though. Um, yeah, how would you, would you like, like to, to join, join my, my crew? crew? You seem like a nice enough sort, Guybrush. But a man cannot serve as my captain unless he earns me respect. And how would a man go about doing that? By besting me in a time-honored test of strength. Uh, he's quite a large lad. He's a large haggy boy. Haggis boy. In a... Uh, and in your face, no holds barred, cage match to the death. Australian rules football. The 500 meter bucket full of heavy rocks relay. Wrist wrestling? And in your face, no holds barred, cage match to the death? No, I'm talking about the traditional Highland display of strength and virility. The caber toss. <gasps> caber toss in. The caber toss. Okay. All going down. All on on the list. 
Is this some sort of weird hazing ritual? Beta oh, Hagrid. Nothing like that. The caber is a large tree trunk. We go to the field of competition, and each of us heaves the caber as far as he can. The man whose caber goes the farthest is the winner. That's just about the stupidest sport I've ever heard of. <laughs> and I watch cable television. <laughs> Aye, but you cannot argue with tradition. Let's go. Let's Sounds do it. Great. Let's do it. I would never follow such a weak captain. <laughs> I need to get my uh, my kilt out of the cupboard. Wear it for this game. Uh, okay, so somehow we need to beat him. All right, okay, we got to beat him in a cave at us. Oh, Argoroth, yeah, hit us with your 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 plans. Hit us with your your pre-maids. I sure could use a haircut. Have a seat, laddie, and I'll do you up with a fine quaff. Back! Sorry, guys. Sorry about that. My bad. My bad. Well, actually, no, it's not my bad. Super sub, major flitting, your end. Eight for dinner in an hour. Good lord. Good luck with that. Um, yeah, sorry. Unfortunately, yep, BT gave out. I was really hoping that we'd get two, two solid streams out this weekend. Uh, apparently not, though. Argoroth, uh, you were just about to to mention your uh, your ideas for your D and D evening. Feel free if you haven't already to 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 stick them up. Okay, one, the crew gets sent on a really below them delivery mission to a bunch of snobs who treat them like crap and refuse to pay them. Plays on how they react and allows them to define their characters a bit more. That's nice, dude. I like that. I like that. Streamlabs is not. Not happy about the fact. Bear with me. Yeah, it's not going to be coming back anytime soon. Okay, so uh, Haggis McMutton is, is is giving us a uh, a haircut at the minute. That's what you missed when the internet died. I just said. Can I have a haircut? And he said yes, and sat us down. Two, the team stumbles upon a sentient group of zombies who still want to eat people, but can discuss their reasons for doing so. Can look at their morals, etc. Also sweet. How did you become a barber pirate? I spent 10 years at sea on board the HMS Anathema, the fastest ship in the Scottish Navy. So how did that help you become a barber pirate? It was a clipper ship. <laughs> clipper ship. Oh, slow roasted lamb. Delicious. Do you know any rousing pirate stories? Well, there is the story of the secret of Bulky Island. Bulky Island? We were a crew of two score men under the command of Big Jake McJuggernaut, the most powerful captain on the seas. One night in port, Captain Jake heard a tale of an enormous treasure 
buried somewhere on Bulky Island. We set sail and landed on the island within a fortnight and found the treasure the next morning. Oh, sorry, Agaroth. I thought I thought there was going to be more options. Is it one or two? I personally would go with one. I think. Yeah, a little bit of character development. Oh, so does that mean? I was kind of hoping that you'd be around for uh, for our Baldur's Gate. Because we're going to start, we're going to create our characters, dude. We are literally just about to create our characters when we finish. Um, actually, within minutes. Wait, no, we're four hours in. Yeah, no, we, we're actually we're, we're due to start Baldur's Gate very soon. Very soon. Um, Bulky Island, where's that? You won't find it on any map. Captain Jake took the location of the treasure to his grave. Oh, it was a beautiful sight. Fingers crossed. A tremendous chest made of solid gold. Big Jake leapt into the hole and wrapped his sinewy arms around the chest. He gathered his resolve, counted to three, filled his lungs and lifted with all his might. The sound of his back cracking brought a grimace to even the most steel-hearted crewman. By nightfall, the lot of us were lying on the beach, writhing in pain. Yeah, BXT, whenever I sometimes, well, not whenever, but uh, a lot of the time when I lose internet, Streamlabs has a bit of a hissy fit. And then doesn't want to work for a while. Thank you for letting me know, though. Monkey Island 3 so early? Well, because we're halfway through the stream, BXT. Like, we've been going for four hours now. Well, actually, no. We'll be... We'll be going for another 10 minutes, and then we would have gone for for four hours. And that's... And, and I'm trying to put, like, two hours into each game today. Because yesterday... Yeah, I, I know yesterday I didn't give Monkey Island a fair cut of the cake. But that's because I was trying to do an eight... Sorry, a, a five... Five-game day. Uh, which was almost, if Chunsman's got his way, almost a, a six-show... A six-game day... But yeah, I want to give an equal flavour. Because if I if I push through Monkey Island now, then it will eat into Baldur's Gate, and then Baldur's Gate will eat into Wolfenstein, etc, etc, etc. I am more than happy, Bullseye Troll, for this to take as long as it needs. As long as it needs. I love it a lot. Why didn't you lift with your knees? That would have been the weak man's way out. The pirate Angus McFulcrum had followed us to Bulky Island, wanting the treasure for himself. Angus McFulcrum. The weakling used a lever and took a chest, laughing at us as he carried it to his ship. And my proud Captain McJuggernaut died in traction, cursing himself for not being strong enough. Okay. Fulcrum. I think he's giving us a, a hint as to how we're supposed to beat him in the Cabotos. Ooh, the plank. The plank from the the theatre, maybe? Maybe. I think that's enough of a haircut for now. Aye, as you say, laddie. Can I take any combs now? Hands off those combs. Those are ours. Okay, no combs for me. Can I pick up the paperweight? Keep your hands off my paperweight. Can can we swap it with with this? That doesn't need a jawbreaker. Um. Oh, can we get off of this guy some jerky? Because he was chewing, wasn't he? I don't want that. I'm a vegetarian. Aha. Okay. Okay. Haggis? Thank you. But I just brushed my teeth. <laughs> right, let's let's finish all of the uh, the conversation chains with this dude. When I think of all I could do with those scissors. Aye. The scissors are just that good. <laughs> did I mention how nice those scissors are? You did, and it's all true. They're the best pair I've ever owned. And they can cut through anything. 
Uh, okay, so yeah. The, then have a seat. I'm not sure whether there was any extra things I could talk about while he's cutting my hair. No. Please let me borrow those scissors. Sorry, but no. Never mind. Oh, okay, so when we're sat here, we can actually still do stuff. Ah, keep your hands off that chair handle. Ah, is that how we're going to go up? Is there anything you can do while he's distracted looking at the book? Every time he looks away. Uh, oh no, keep no. Your hands off that chair handle. Close. So we can do it once. Ah, uh, keep But we your can't hands do it twice. This paste doesn't stick to hair. I don't think he'd like that. Haggis McMutton. Okay, what have we got that we can actually... Hair styling book, paperweight, barber chair, jar of combs. I'm afraid he might cut my ear off if I get up. We can go up once. What do we have? Helium balloon paste, pin, pirate literature, skeleton arm, pack of gum, bag of nickels, flyer, ember on a stick, jewel breaker, magic wand, chewed gum. I'm afraid he might cut my ear off if I get up. Jatsa, I assume you know what's going on here, man. And Bullseye Trolls, do you, do you guys both know the, uh... Ah, uh, keep your hands off that chair handle. It's the handle the barber uses to raise and lower the chair. No. Uh, lick handle. It's the handle the barber uses to raise and lower the chair. Yeah, you do know exactly what to do. Okay. No, no, because when you start talking... Do we have... Bullseye, do we have everything we need on us? And also you, Jatso, if you know. Uh, do you have everything... Do we have everything we need on us to do whatever we need to do while he's looking away? That's a really weird way of asking the question. Coiffures for the discerning pirate. Spring edition. Oh! <gasps> oh, it's the other way. Ugh, blast that ineffectual paperweight. I'll have to go find another. But what about my haircut? Keep your skirt on, lad. Oh, oh! Does that mean we can go up and grab the... Yes, yes, yes. Phew. Well, I searched Hank the whole land, and I couldn't have found a single rock for a paperweight. I suppose I'll just have to eyeball your haircut. I just remembered I have another appointment. Oh, I was going to give you a French braid too. I actually want a French braid down one side of my head. <laughs> okay, so we have scissors.
let's just quickly go around because that goes definitely off to the other part of the island. Let's quickly just double check if there's any places that we haven't been yet. I really would, BXD. I think I would. Ah, oh, it's the Cabotos field. Sub goal, French braid. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, bullseye. Bullseye. A grassy knoll. Are we going to shoot someone from here? Keg of rum. It's an enormous keg of old gut blast brand rum. Nah, I need to keep a clear head for now. Well, I like rum as much as the next pirate, but that's a little much. They're made from palm trees. Okay, pile of cavers. Ah! Rubber tree. Rubber tree. Can we cut the rubber tree down? And the tree's too rubbery to cut with scissors. So, we, ah, yes. Okay, if we, if we got some way of cutting the rubber tree down then maybe we could use the rubber tree and it would bounce and then we'd be able to defeat him Sumatran rubber tree donated to Puerto Pollo by our Sumatran sister city of Vacaville this tree is the only one of its kind in the entire western hemisphere and stands as an everlasting symbol of the friendship between our two cities and we're gonna cut it down <laughs> okay Rubber tree. Kavitos, rubber tree. Caribbean rubber tree. One of the many rubber trees common throughout the Caribbean used as raw material for shipbuilding. Oh, wait, can we only... Can we do the Caribbean one? And the tree's too rubbery to cut with scissors. Can we burn it? I mean, not that we're doing it. that with this ember. No. They look pretty tough to toss. <laughs> These are cabers. These are distance markers for the caber toss. I don't think that that's actually going to be any use to us. Anything else around here? We got a gra Oh, wait, 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 wait. Distant beach. What a pastoral looking beach. We need a spyglass or something so we can look at the distant beach. Because something's shining over there. Oh, is it going to be Elaine? Is it going to be the glistening body of Elaine? Uh, family friendly. Oh, 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 I see. Chicken coop. The glistening, <laughs> glittering, glistening, same thing. It's a chicken coop, but I don't see any chickens. Talk to nah. chicken coop. <laughs> Push it. Mm, no. Another chicken coop. It's an old crow's nest, converted into a sign for the chicken shop. <laughs> Thank you, BXD. I feel like we've gone a lot Ipecac flower. Oh, can we can we use scissors with Ipecac flower? And the undergrowth? <gasps> Have we made like a, a hole through to somewhere else? Where are we? Oh! Ooh. 
It's a truck door crossing. Oh, wait, no. Snake. Look at all the... <gasps> Machete. Device. Device. Bottle. Box. Stick. Club. Can we pick up all of these? Hmm, I wonder what this sign means. Snake crossing. What possible harm could a snake... Ooh. Well, this isn't good. A Fabergé egg inside the snake. All right, guys. Well, this is probably where we're going to save up for the day. <laughs> yes. Yes. Um, just in case, Bullseye, you are entirely correct. Which I doubt you are, but just in case. I'm going to make... Uh, and I'm going to go first and two. <laughs> just in case. Ah! Awesome, guys. Okay, right, right. Let's grab. Let's go. <laughs>